I think I think Mario kind of just struggles against all sword characters, um, and Marth has the capability of just walling Mario out hard. I definitely remember back when I played Marth way before the buffs that I thought that Marth did had a pretty decent matchup on Mario, so I'm sure that's a lot better now for him. Yeah, and we're but talking it does about look like he is going that matchup. So. Yeah, yeah, clearly. I mean, he did very well with his Mario yesterday. I think he's pretty much gone mostly Mario. Um, but, I mean, he's got a good Cloud. I would honestly say go Cloud. Yeah. I think he's scared of, the, like, Marth's imp game on Cloud is very strong. It's rough, yeah. Like, you get one well-timed aerial at all, and that's Although, that's GG's. That being said, I do think Cloud wins that matchup handily. Handedly? Handily. Wow. Pers I've always thought, personally, like, I really think that Cloud does really well in this matchup. Okay. Okay. That is not the popular opinion, but that is my personal belief. I would definitely prefer Cloud going Cloud over Mario against Marth. Scarlet Blue with some really nice pressure right now. Uh, these grabs are a little questionable yeah. though. Uh, we see, finally went get one of those. Uh, it's something we watched on stream yesterday. Wind was just absolutely abhorred by the idea of getting like good grabs. But he's murdering Scarlet Blue right now. Yeah. That was battlefield combo at its finest. Yeah, that is one grab. Yep. Mario. 90%. Yo, Wind's making us eat our words right now in this Mario Marth card of Yeah. But uh. I mean, it's it. definitely hard for Marth, like just playing in neutral because. Like with pretty much every Mario matchup, if you get grabbed once, then you're gonna take that much percent. And then if you want to make that back, you're gonna have to either play crazy neutral from that point on, or get a tipper F smash. We see a uh, Scarlet Blue opting for the upward swing of Dancing Blade. I feel like like these percents, you'd probably be better off just going uh, downward tip. But I'm not sure how Rage would affect it, and maybe it would just pop him out before the last hit of it, making it a little bit unsafe. Yeah, maybe. But these rolls are getting punished yeah. hard. And I mean, that's Mario's magical catch anyone. Yep. And he's still going for the, uh, the upward swing. Yeah. Down, like, I mean, the downward one's more damage, so... Uh, that's going yeah, out downwards, I would be scared of getting down aired out of. Or that's a bit, Or naired, yeah. Or, like, Luigi yeah. can nair out of it, like, three times. Yeah, Mario, yeah, that's, that's fair. Like, he that's lands, fair. like, 25 damage on him. Jesus, win, yeah. stop! Well, and this is really great to see, though, because, like, for a long time... Oh my god! Yeah. Goes wins for the, wins goes been for gold. Yeah, right. Yo, Tipper, let's go. Uh, but Wind's been for a long time, you know, claiming, oh, I'm on the come up, I'm on the come up, I'm on the come up. And, uh, you know, was a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, once PR'd. Uh, I'm sure he would love to do that, and, you know, making it in the top 12 of Famicom's a great start. As far as I would not have just a straight F smash on that air dodge to the ground. Air dodges through the back air, giving him center stage again, which is very rough for Marth. Goes oh. for the shield breaker. Uh, you know, if he'd gotten that, that probably would have been game, but it's such a risky option. Yeah. And he just rolls. Stop yeah. rolling. Yeah, rolling against Mario is very, it's very punishable. Where, where's the moon when you need him? That's not safe. Yeah, and you can, you can very clearly tell that Wind is just waiting for that to happen because yep. it can tell. Yeah, yeah and, and if you're Mark gonna roll, then I'm Mario. I can up smash you, or I can grab you. And Marth doesn't have like that great of a roll, regardless. It's all it's a bit yeah. of a longer animation, and you can see it really yeah. clearly. Yeah, the Fire Emblem characters like Marth, Roy, like they have really long distance rolls, but they're very slow. Yeah. So I see him opting for White Marth now. Yeah. Now, do you prefer Husband White Marth or Moon White Marth? Um, well, this is the point. Man. Fair point. This, this is the protagonist of Gracie 776 Leaf. So. Wind. I'm all about the color change. Wind. You know, all yesterday we were talking about his match during hi against Heisei, where he would not grab. And, oh, yeah. Jesus Christ! He wouldn't grab. And, like, now he's getting these grabs on Mark and just putting in work. Yeah, it's interesting. I basically told him before he played Heisei, or Heisei, however you pronounce it, yeah. whatever his name is, it changes all the time. Yeah. That basically he just needed to not worry about percent deficits and land grabs against him. Yeah. That's how you win that matchup. Ugh. Uh, that's rough. It's, you don't want to be there. Yeah, unless you were the tipper master right now, you're not getting anywhere back from that soon. Yeah, this is this is rough. This is rough. This could be could be the end of the road for Scarlet yeah. Blue. Who has like had a great tournament run on regardless. Like, I mean he beats Stingers. Yeah. Knock, knock Stingers out of winners and bulls. Yeah. broke. Marth broke. Yo, I thought he was gonna get that fireball kill, and that'd be the most disappointing way, period, to end the game. Now, something that I've not really seen here, uh, that I think would be good to work on, is just 
Marth has like one of the better combo breaks uh, with Dolphin Slash. It's very possible. Oh, we get the Dolphin. Ugh. Good stuff to win. Yeah, for real.